Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I'm going to show you how to blur faces and license plates using Corel Paint Shop Pro. Now I'm going to show you how to blur faces and actually you can use the same technique for license plates or anything else that you need to blur. So we're going to start out with this picture which I got from Pixabay of a crowd and uh, we're going to go over here to the right and we're going to right click on this and go duplicate we want a duplicate layer of the background it says copy of background you can name that to something else if you like uh, or you can just leave it like this uh, so then i'm going to go up here to uh, adjust and under adjust uh, we need to make sure we have this top layer selected of course underneath adjust we're going to go down to blur and gaussian blur it's going to bring up this. Um, it's going to bring up this dialog, and you can adjust the radius of the blur to whatever you want. The smaller the radius, the less blurry it is. You want to look at these faces. This man's face is actually. A, a, if we go cancel this and go all the way down this man's face is already a little bit blurry this woman's face is very sharp you want to look at the sharper faces when you do this to make sure that they are all unrecognizable so let's go back to adjust again and we're going to go back to blur Gaussian blur and uh, starts back here at 52 and uh, that's pretty good you want you want some detail to show that it's a face because it looks a little bit better if you can kind of see, you know, just blurred, uh, that it's a blurred face, uh, but you don't want it so unblurred that you can tell who it is. Uh, you can go extremely blurred, but then that, that almost makes the face look as one tone. So, so it's kind of a matter of taste. I think it looks a little bit better if it's, uh, there's some kind of indication there's a face there. So we're going to go OK here. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this is top layer selected again. We're going to go to mask here and we're going to go hide all and that's going to hide everything in this layer. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to paint back in the areas that we want blurred in this photograph. So you want to pick this here, the paintbrush. Be careful not to pick down here. It says oil brush. There's some other brushes down here. This is the brush you need. It may be set to airbrush like that. If it is, just set it to paintbrush. Uh, the, the things you want to do is uh, reduce the hardness. I'm going to put the hardness at zero on this. Because the less hard it is, the... Uh, more kind of fuzzy the edges and it, it should look a little bit better that way and then the other thing you need to do is adjust the size I think this is a pretty good size here so we're gonna zoom in a little bit and move to this woman's face right here make sure you have the mask layer selected and then we can just start to uh, paint it out now, the nice thing about this is we can paint out as much or as little as we need to or want to so uh, you can go up to like the hairline or leave part of the forehead or you can do the entire head however much of it that you want or think looks good and uh, the other thing is we can do the same with this woman right here we can go right up we can adjust we can actually adjust the brush so it's a little bit smaller and get right in but leave the man's ear if we wanted to I'm not going to bother to go into great, great detail here. But you have a lot of uh, flexibility with this. So here we have the picture and we blurred out these two faces right here. Uh, so the nice thing is, is we could turn off this upper layer here and we can bring the faces back so we can save it like this so if we at some point want a copy of the photo without anything blurred we still have that so that's how you blur faces and license plates uh, 
using Corel Paint Shop Pro. I'm Dean, and this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.